See the illumination is a lot better than the previous one because it looks awesome now. What's going on YouTube? This is Bruce with Bruce Custom Motors. Welcome to another video. This is going to be a pretty simple video. It's going to just talk about how you can uh, update this light on your car. This is going to be a door light and this light upgrade can apply to Audi, you know, A3, Audi A4, Audi A5, Audi A6, Audi A7, S5, you get the drill, all of the above. So this is a pretty simple mod to just kind of, you know, add that, you know, extra spunk to your car. You know, it's nothing like the car door just kind of illuminating at nighttime when you're at a parking lot. So I'm gonna first say I'm changing out this light. I've had this light for about, I would say roughly about three months. So the one thing I would like to say is if you do do this mod on your car, if you're in and out of your car a lot, the lights come last for about, I would say up to like five months, but they're really cheap. Uh, they're uh, generally gonna be about, I would say, for two, you can get them for like nine bucks on eBay. So at the end of the day, you're not, you're really not, you know, losing a lot of money. If you want to go to the dealership and go the dealership route, those lights will last a lot longer. I mean, almost for the lifetime of your vehicle. But of course, these are aftermarket parts, so they're going to not last as long. But it's a pretty simple mod to do. And I'm going to tell you what, I'm, what I mean. So as you saw on this side, the light... Let me see if I can close it and open it back up to the light and then make it. So as you saw on this side, the light doesn't look that good. There's a big, you know, blur in it. And that's only because of the simple fact it's just burning out for me opening the door back and forth a million times. If I the other side of my car, as you can see, the light looks pretty good. It still has its 3D dimension to it. It's illuminated really well. It's more precise, you know, like the OEM ones. But, you know, I drive one deep, so this this door never opens. So this is just kind of tell you just from wear and tear how that light can last or how, how long that light can last. So, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much going to be as far as the light goes. Check this out, guys. Just want to show you this, guys, just real fast. So I got some filament for my 3D printer. I'm gonna 3D print some paddle shifters, a lot of different things. You see that carbon side right there? Or that's actually something not 3D printed. If you guys are interested in um, the 3D printing process, let me know. I can just kind of show you guys how I 3D print and the whole process in doing that. So uh, let's go ahead and get to how to take out the light and install the light. So I do have an extra light that I bought that I'm going to go ahead and change out for the one over there. So if you look at the bottom right here, you can see my light. And as you can see, um, it's sitting right there. So I'm going to show you how to take it out. Um, as you can see, my projector on that light is just not illuminating good anymore. So I'm going to take that out. But in this case, you guys would have an OEM light and it, it goes and comes out the same way. What you wanna do is you wanna grab a tool like this, something to kind of get into the crevice of the corner and it pretty much just pops out. So I'm gonna show you how the one looks that I'm getting ready to put in. But anytime I'm getting ready to put something in, I always like to look at the structure of it because that lets me know on the new one if it can pop out or not pop out. Like if I looked at this and it had screws on it, then I knew then I would know that that would be something that I would need to take my door panel off on. But as I can see, it just clips in. So this is always a good indicator if you're installing something and you wanna know if it clips in or not. Just look at the new part and you'll know, and it can kind of give you a blueprint of how it's gonna come out. So in this case, as you can see, I'm just gonna be able to just pop this one out. There's nothing um, preventing it or you know, anything uh, 
that is um, rigid that's going to stop it from growing out other than the club. But keep in mind that when you're taking out the light, sometimes it can be a tight fit. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this screwdriver, like I said, and I'm going to look at this part again. So since I'm looking at this part, I know that this is where the majority, where I'm going to have to clip out first. And then I can just pull it. Then once I clip it out, I can just pull it out this way. Uh, so that's always good to know. So I'm gonna just go right here. See that? So I'm just gonna do that and just give it like a little nudge. Simple as that. Keep in mind, a lot of times the OEM ones can be a little bit tighter. So once I do that, as simple as that, you have your plug, you have your light. So I'm just gonna just pull it out. So there we go. The light is pulled out. So now I can put the new light in. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and get the new light. As you can see, as you can see, got the new light. Then I'm gonna put the new light in. So I just put the new light in guys. So I just clipped it in. So as you can see, you wanna just test the illumination. I'll show you guys. So just put that in. Now you can see the illumination is a lot better than the previous one. I think it's, it looks awesome now. So I'm just gonna at this point, just pop it back in. Actually uh, just install it. Make sure it works. Make sure you have power going to it. Uh, I'm a DIY guy and I've learned so many times on just kind of following those footsteps before you finalize um, your project. All right. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, turn it this way. Put it in, just kind of put it like that. And then just clip. Simple as that. Now, as you guys can see, I now have a nice illuminated light um, in my car. So yeah, so that's pretty much gonna be how you install. Uh, the, this, I just think this is a quick, easy, cheap mod that just adds so much value to your car from a, you know, a perspective of that adds so much value to your car. I mean, it's, I'm telling you, anytime you open the door, you have lights on the ground. It just make it's just an epic look, and it makes people look. It looks cool. It's kind of what they replace the underglow lights with. So yeah, I um, mean, if you guys have any questions about anything else in my car that I have, any parts in my car, just shoot a comment, and I'll let you know how I got it, how to hook it up. I know I did a cheap uh, mod list, and I did a super mod list. So, so you just let me know. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you shoot me a DM on Instagram or you're in communication with me, give me about a week to respond. I do get a, you know, a lot of messages and I do get a lot of messages and requests along with, you know, the music from my music studio. So just let me know and I'll be happy to help you guys out. I hope everyone's having a great new year. God bless everybody. Thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Like I said, I have tons of great, you know, mods and information from you, uh, information for you guys, from you know, tuning to DIY to building fenders. So yeah, let me know. All right, take care, guys.